Hello everybody and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair! My name is Kieran aka Kieran B and when we last left off we were basically just exploring this new uncharted island except we already have a map so it's not really uncharted. Um, what's up with that? Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration it looks like it's being repaired or under construction something like that. Alright. Can you not fix it? You're like the ultimate mechanic, yeah? Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surf bar surfboards arranged on the shelf. But I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Refrigerator. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of these these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Yes, because colored dyes are your are the are your biggest concern right now. Jeez, get a grip. All right, let's go. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me, when we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Oh, okay. Ah, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa! <laughs> I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he, where he is? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. <sighs> Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? We need, we need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. Let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it, all done. He ended the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Ah, Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well? Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Ah, uh, based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Eh, I guess she'll head over to the ancient ruins. Ooh. Mysteries upon mysteries. Oh? What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However. However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well. It seems, perhaps, it seems Pekka. Perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin, Pekko. What's going on? Uh, how should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School? Huh. How did that it be? Oh. There's no way, right? No, the windows are all... Well, yeah, it might be Hope's Peak, but... The windows are all open. There's no, uh, there's no iron things on the inside. So it is after that time. If it is, in fact, the same place, which it might not be. Is the Pekka bit another VTuber thing? It is, yes. Uh, Pek Pekka from Hollow Life has a verbal tick. Uh, after every sentence, well, almost every sentence, she says Pekka. Um, uh, anyway, do you think it's Hope's Peak? I think it's a replica of Hope's Peak, at least. Um, and I don't think that, uh, Makoto is wandering around those halls. Like I said, all of the iron bars are gone from the window, so, um, so they're not in there. And, obviously, Baka is, has already been outside, so, the. That was basically a stupid uh, thought to have, anyway. Um, don't know. No idea. I mean, Hope's Peak was, like, uh, wasn't on an island, so you can't exactly just pick up a building that size and move it somewhere. But I imagine it's a, it's a replica at best. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Hmm. There might be a resemblance to Hope Speak Academy. 
Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know you were here also. Also, it was never mentioned in the first game. The host peak is on the island. Uh, no, it wasn't. No, in fact, uh, there was that big panoramic shot that I think was at the very start of this game as well. That showed it, like, right in the middle of a city. So, yeah. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nope. Nothing like that. Aww. Aw, then who cares? I should've played in the bath with Mihiru more. Let me ask. Then, what in the world did you find? Jackie found something. I wonder what it is. Maybe I should ask her. Although, I guess it's an opportunity to talk to everybody else, but nah. Jackie, what'd you find? Hey, Jackie, what'd you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? Hmm. Hmm. About that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean, you don't know, Pecco? It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It doesn't belong with a building like this. Okay. Um. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. See? Look, that door over there. Door. You mean the giant metal one? With the gun on <laughs> the outside? It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. Hey. Did you fucking take a boat trip to reach Hope's Peak? So this isn't Hope's Peak, right? Yeah, probably. Unless... 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 Okay, super crazy theory. Super 100% ultimate crazy theory, okay? That definitely isn't true. Probably. Okay, okay. So... What if... What if they built a giant dome? Or maybe not a giant dome, but a giant bowl. No, not a giant bowl, but a giant set of walls around uh, the city or the town that... Um, the city or the town that Hope's Peak is built in. Then they used Earth... They, they literally pushed up the earth underneath certain parts of the city in order to raise it. And then they flooded the place. And they did, and they literally, they raised it uh, with the express intention of making it look sort of like Jabberwock Island. And then they just flooded the place. Uh, no, I wasn't going to say that there are more hope speaks. That would make sense. But no, I wasn't going to say that. My my theory is even more crazy. <laughs> that would be interesting. It would be kind of like a... Um, I mean, Danganronpa as a series is already quite like... What's the what's the name of it? Um, I, can't, I can't remember the name of it right now. What's it called? Uh, if I don't... If I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What's it? The Truman Show. Yes. I mean, it's already very Truman Show-ish. Uh, what with the constant surveillance and all. So, putting a giant wall around the place? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, moving on. Um. Before we attempt to go inside... Let's try brushing off some of the this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. 
If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's... I don't know who... I don't know who's talking, so... It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh? Hmm, it looks like it's Japanese. Oh! Ah, you're totally right. Um... Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it's... It, like... It says Mirai, or future. Future. Bastard! Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. Are you implying that Monokuma literally ripped a chunk from the mainland to create an island? No. No. Although, that's basically on the level of insanity that I'm suggesting. Uh, me, what I'm suggesting is that he literally tunneled down into the ground, artificially pushed up the dirt in order to create hills, and he did that in certain, in very exact areas in order to make it look like Jabberwock Island, and then he flooded the place. That's what I'm saying. It's absolutely nuts. But did you notice when he basically confirmed that it was an artificial island? I mean, there are two ways of making an artificial island. One is by taking a lot of dirt and putting it into a different place. And the other is taking water and putting it around a load of dirt. That's, that's how you can make artificial islands. So if... So moving the... Ripping the chunks of mainland and putting them into the ocean. Okay, that would be one way of doing it. But I think that... But that seems like the obvious thing. So what about the non-obvious thing? What about the other one? The taking water and putting it where it wasn't. And yeah. That's just a game theory. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably entirely wrong, but whatever. It's probably set to open. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. I see all high and mighty. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hands. <laughs> uh, are you saying a normal person can't open it because, but a yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up. Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? Huh? What do you mean dangerous? Oh, is he gonna be stupid? Cause that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? Yes, it very clearly looks like a gun. What idiot wouldn't say that that's a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Huh? That's a gun? Yes, obviously. Monk would be like, let's take this land and move it somewhere else. <laughs> If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Damn it. It, it can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! You do it then! Mm. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. That's not a gun. No, it's a Pez dispenser. Uh, it's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um. Um. Hmm. Uh. Silence, huh? You're, you're both quiet, Pecco. I'll beat you up. You got. You, you guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, uh, I have no, I have no idea at all. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Um... For now, 
Everyone should focus on gathering the whole fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. Uh you guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Um... Uh, just, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey! Hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. I'm sorry! Uh, I'm sorry! You nasty pig bar! Say you're sorry, bitch! <laughs> I just said it! I just said I'm sorry! <clears throat> Is it possible that... There is a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited. For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. Hey... Is something happened that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up! Hmm, several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in the material sense. More essential than that. Huh? huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance, even though Monomi and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Ooh, uh... Huh? You can't go inside, too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Hey, keep your tongue in your mouth. Is nobody going to say anything about Hiyoko verbally abusing Mikan? Yeah, yeah. See, I think that that's a regular in uh, Japanese uh, comedy uh, abuse, which is leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. But well, okay. Yeah, my body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that. Well, now. Now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monomi and I can't solve. <laughs> That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> that seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Host Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right. There's probably a traitor I don't even know and I don't even know about hiding among the group. Why do you know what Monokuma's every move, Monomi? Why do you know Monomi's every move, Monokuma? Is my question. Just kidding! I know! There's a traitor among us? That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Ah, calling me ugly and a Tanuki. Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello! He's totally depressed. <laughs> if there is a traitor, they'll probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Uh. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding there. But do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. That's... There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. The Sugama. <laughs> Would that be Sugama, dick? No. <laughs> Love saying among us people. Yeah. It's very distracting. <laughs> uh, Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> you fiend. What's so funny? Hey! Hey! <sighs> oh, just. Have you guys heard of an, organi of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? I'm not the one asking you a quest. I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. Come on. I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students. No, wait. Elementary school students would come up with it. Yeah. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what? Everything all right? Yep, yeah, everything's good. Just clear my throat. So, 
So, what is this organization, Pecco? <laughs> it's literally what it says. I don't believe it! Those guys ended the world! <laughs> ended the world? Hey, um... That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world! So, don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? Basically. You mean, they're a terrorist organization, Pecco? Terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. Hmm, that's a lot of rubble. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. Think of the heroes who ended the world. Mulgas. What's going on? <laughs> Jams get get in there and push the button we got a traitor among us i think it's hammock he's he finished smoking he's finished smoking the joints and now he wants flesh <laughs> uh so what don't say things that don't make sense don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap mm. world ender are you saying that you and Minomi are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island, what? World Ender is behind it all! Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. Don't panic, Pecco. It's just another it's just another made up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories, Pecco. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender Pecco. There's no way that organization, Pecco, or the traitor exists, Pecco. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want. While I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. Hey Pecco, do you know who's the traitor among us? And Pecco goes, Yes, Pecco. <laughs> uh, that, that would be funny. That's... My, my! I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? <laughs> if you keep acting like that, I'll do this and this to your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. But one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! Hey, you better stop. I'm gonna punish you. Don't, Manomi. Brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No! No, don't pull my ears. They're gonna come... Come off! There we go, talking about come again. Monokuma and Manomi departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understands what he was talking about? Um... Not a clue. <laughs> hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. Hmm. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. Huh. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. I actually got all five of the first set of Monokumas. Interesting. I'm still missing three of the new, though. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on. But it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and... World Ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. Monokuma Theater! I don't 
don't like this. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try and make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never, ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater. Make sure you guys be careful too. Ping pong, ping pong. Good morning, yep, good morning, Monokuma. Monokuma. All right, free time? Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Jeremiah, why in the bloody hell you're still playing Among Us in 2022? God save the queen, you eat it. Uh, yeah. In fact, it just it just recently got updated, didn't it? I think. I don't know. I've never played it, so... I wouldn't know. Oh, hello. Gundam. Hi, Gundam. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? How pitiful. The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Baka and Tiritiru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom or to burn in the fires of Gehenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy's the same as usual. Well, it's nice to know that some things don't change, I guess. How's my pet doing? Speaking of, have you metamorphosized yet? No. Aww. Gundam Wing? You mean... Uh, are you talking about West Wing? I never watched it, no. Um, huh. I feel such nostalgia for the Japanese dishes my servant used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. Why? I mean, to be fair, I haven't had much experience with Japanese food, but... Why? What? It's her servant, what? However, an army marches with its stomachs. That being said, let us have breakfast. Yeah. That is definitely true. Good nom nom nomming! Good morning! Meow. Do you know how many O's I used? Who knows? <laughs> Whoa there, your cool demeanor gives me the shivers. <laughs> but you should talk about it more, you know. Shoot me with your word arrows. Thinking about Baka made me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat. About Baka? I see. That's right. See. He may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It sounds easy to keep a promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Oh, Gundam wings, you know, giant robots fighting the wings. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. I understand. <laughs> West Wing. Isn't West Wing about politics or something? Gundam in the bleeding White House. <laughs> sir, the, sir, we have just been made contact with uh, Putin. Apparently, he's cutting off tr uh, trade agreements with us. He shall burn in the fires of Gehenna. We shall make him rue the day that he... that he uh, assaulted our trade caravans with such ruthlessness. Aww. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn. That's so disappointing. <laughs> now then, I'm off to the restaurant. Adieu. She didn't have to say that last bit. Uh, honestly, I'm not entirely certain what she means by disappointing. Does she think they wouldn't fit or something? Maybe? I don't know. Good morning, Nekomaru. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. What is it, Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? What, what are you so surprised about? <laughs> oh, no need to worry. I'll head to the restaurant first. <laughs> is it just my imagination, or does he seem weird, weirder than usual? Is Nikita locked up in here? Can I go in? We need to do our best to make sure there aren't any more incidents. How do I? Okay. Can I walk through? No. Nagito's Nagito tied up in that building, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here for YouTube. Thank you very much for joining. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite, all that stuff. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.